Given the horizontal and vertical components of vectors, we're going to use that information to find magnitudes and then also find magnitudes when scalars are attached to those vectors. So let's go ahead and look at A and B only in this video. So it says, given that V is equal to 2i plus 3j, um, find V as well as the magnitude of V. And what you'll notice right here is there is the double bar. That is the symbol for magnitude, okay? And when we think about magnitude, we could be thinking about the size of a force, but on the graph, we're gonna be thinking about how long the line is or how long the vector is, okay? So uh, let's go here. It says V, go ahead and find V, which we already know is 2i and 3j. And we've been doing this for a little bit, so, we should be able to graph that as a position vector and say, okay, well, we know that the horizontal is two and the vertical is three. So we would go over to the right two and up three. And right here, that tells us what V is uh, with a terminal point right there. So V would be equal to uh, two, three going to that terminal point right there. Now, the idea is that we wanna find the magnitude. Now. This is actually fairly easy. And the reason why is it's stuff that we've already used for a long time. The magnitude of a vector on a graph is how long is the line? So the length of the line. Okay, and so we're gonna find the length of that line. Well, how do we do that? Well, we go back to the idea that there is a horizontal component and a vertical component. And that just simply makes a right angle. And we look at that, we go, hey, wait a second. We have the Pythagorean theorem that will help us with that. And so we know the Pythagorean theorem is just a squared plus b squared equals to c squared. And so we just use the Pythagorean theorem. We know we're gonna go over two and up three. So it's the same thing as saying, well, we've got two squared plus three squared equals to c squared, okay? Which is four plus nine equals to c squared. And we could say that c squared is equal to 13. And we could take the square root. And we would say c is equal to the square root of 13. And now for uh, some, we might go ahead and just say, okay, well, what is the square root of 13? Well, the square root of 13 is 3.605. So let's just say maybe C is approximately 3.61. And now what we can say is the magnitude of V is the square root of 13 or 3.61, depending on how we do that. Now, if we go to the next portion of this, it then says, well, what about for B? B just simply says, what about if it is 3V and what is the magnitude? of 3v. Well, what does that mean, 3v? Well, that means that we're going to take v and we're going to multiply it by 3, or there's going to be three of them. So in other words, we can think if we take these steps out that we've been doing, we can go over 2 and up 3. We can go over 2 and up 3 again. And notice what we've done. We've taken v and we've tripled it on that diagonal right there. So check that out, okay? Well, how in the world do we possibly find that length of 3V? So now let's go ahead and find the magnitude of 3V. Well, let's go ahead and write it as what, it, what we know it's located at. So we know we've tripled it. So we know we've gone over six and we've gone up nine, okay? So really we can write 3V right now if we were to go back and just do the piece here, how do we write it? Well, we would say, well, it's over six up nine. So six I uh, plus nine J, okay? But now let's find the magnitude and the magnitude just goes back to what we were just doing, finding the length of 3V, which is here in red right there. Okay, so what is 3V? We just say, well, 6 squared plus 9 squared equals to C squared. Okay, so we get 6 squared, which is 36. We get 9 squared, which is 81, equals to C squared. Okay, so we've got 36 plus 81, which is 117, equals to C squared. And we could take the square root. Now, that would be 
the magnitude of 3v or the length is going to be the square root of 117. Now we may not know what 100, a square root of 117 is, so let's just go ahead and do this. And some of you may be going, okay, well, what is 36 plus 81? It's 117. We already knew that. Let's take the square root of 117. Okay, and we know that is 10.816, so maybe 10.882. So I'm going to say the magnitude of 3v using the Pythagorean theorem is going to be 10.8. And what that tells us is this length from here, from the origin all the way up to the terminal point of 3v is 10.82 using the Pythagorean theorem.